first of all, apologize for my volume. Uh, the chemotherapy that I'm on right now is causing mucositis to go down my throat. So it's really, really rough. Oh, excuse me. I do not put that on you. So. There we go. Um, for those of you who have not seen me go live before, we put the big TV on so I can see when comments come up. I can't really read them, but at least I see that they're there, so my family will read them to me. Um, I know I haven't seen you guys in a very, very long time. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do catch up today. We've had a lot of medical things change, a lot of life things change um, that we really haven't talked about because we haven't really talked to you guys in months. Um, first, I wanted to say um, if you knew that we were planning on moving to Colorado in, uh, I'm sorry, if you knew we, if you knew we were planning on moving to Colorado in um, like the, the end of last year, uh, we had a lot of things happen in the house. We had a major plumbing issue where all of the plumbing had, the pipes and stuff had to get replaced. Um, so there's that. And then we had our entire bathroom ripped out and had to be replaced. It was just a mess. So that pushed our schedule back to, as soon as that's done, we have a few more projects to do for staging and then we're gonna go ahead and mom's gonna put it back up on the market. Um, I'm sorry, this just started. I haven't been talking because I've been trying to save my throat and my ear is ringing. Every time I talk, it's like a vibrator in there. <laughs> hi, hi. Um, So, um, obviously you can see Oreo got really big. <laughs> um, Lisa doesn't live here anymore. I feel the last time you saw me was when Lisa lived here. Um, but I mostly wanted to catch up on medical stuff. Um, back in October, right before Halloween, I started a new chemotherapy and I hate it. But I thought it was gonna only be for three months until we got scans and the doctor wants me to wait till four months but it has dipped my thyroid really low. So now I, I just had such, I'm like exhausted, you know? And then everybody tells me that thyroid medicine won't kick in for six weeks, and I'm like, oh great. So then, what to? Talk about Oreo. Okay, do you need to move the tripod back? Um. That's what you're gonna do. Hi. Sierra, is that real? Yeah, Sierra, Sierra. Hello, sweetheart. Can we just turn it towards you a little bit? I'll put, you know, put it at the whole stand or whatever. Keep going, keep going. Look at the camera when you, see, when you stop seeing the pillow. Hi! From Aurora, Colorado. Hello. Uh, oh no, it's Chandra. Who's Chandra? Oh, Chandra. Something different. Um, She's been on your other show. Yeah. So, I, um,. I have been having like really bad side effects and I said if this bout of chemotherapy doesn't wipe this cancer out entirely I'm not going to do it anymore. When Doc talks about quality versus quantity you know he talks about um, what's the point of saving the time if it's going to be miserable time and I have spent sometimes like every other day in bed um, because if I do just a little, you know, like half the poop and maybe you have to take the dog out and put it back in or something. That's it for me. I'm done. Um, same with table cooking. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Because I really have a hard time talking loudly. Um, so, um, if, you don't, if you know, if you have a couple, let me know. Uh, I know a lot of people ask me about crafting and I miss it. Um, I don't have a craft table at the moment because when we redid some rooms, we um, put that table in Jim's room and then I'm going to use the small folding table to do whatever little projects I have. But I just run out of energy so quickly. I have so many desires to do so many things and I just can't even get the stamina to walk in the room. Yes, sir. I'm thinking once we uh, try to clean up and rearrange in your um, craft room, if you don't have enough table space, you can just use the kitchen table. Oh, to craft that like I did in the beginning, yeah. Yeah. Um, Sierra. Sierra? Yeah. 
Let's see your hand. Said yes, I can hear you, but okay. Okay. Um, Simone's girl asked, "How was your wound appointment?" My wound appointment was canceled because of the weather. Yeah. Um, it's going to be. Oh, it's going to. It's going to be this Tuesday at one. Um, I don't know if you guys were affected by all the ice storms and snowstorms. Um, but yeah, we had a a weather warning, severe weather warning, and as it is, I'm not very steady on my feet, so going out in the ice and snowstorms wasn't a good idea. I just hope by the 24th it's going to clear up. Oh, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. I have to go all the way to Springfield for oh, my yeah, yeah, for testing. My, my neural surgeon appointment. Um, oh, sorry, bad mom. Hello, hello. Um, uh, Debbie Chavez, Chavez, you're very soft spoken, but we can hear you. Okay, good, thank you. Um, that for you. My mucositis is so bad right now that I can hardly eat most things. Um, the, when I saw the oncologist last, it was actually his nurse practitioner, and she was talking about the weight loss, and she doesn't think the weight loss is good. Um, she's like, mostly because you look like you're losing muscle. I'm, I'm, I'm losing like 10 pounds a month. So she just recommended having shakes in the morning. And what we've been doing is having a half of a premier mm -hmm. protein yeah, shake. Do you yeah. do one scoop ice cream? What? And put breakfast and lunch shakes? Two, two scoops. scoops. Well, like whole scoops or like get, getting out of ice cream container scoops? Um, actually, one of them, the, the last time I did it, it came out as whole, oh, one came out as a whole, okay. and one came out as like a three quarter. Oh, okay. So Jimmy's saying two scoops of, of the low carb <coughs> ice cream, and then tops it off with half and half. So I get protein, but I also get that smooth creamy ice cream coat um, that my mouth and throat love so much. Uh, she also suggested carnation instant breakfast, because they have a little bit more calories. Um, I was taking my morning meds ah, no and, and burning so much sugar getting out here that I was like throwing up coming out here. So she also recommended putting a a Zofran in prophylactically uh, in my morning meds just to take a Zofran with my morning meds every day. Um, How are you I have you I have uh, back wounds again. Um, those of you I know she asked about wound care, but if you don't follow the blog channel. Um, I, I, I graduated from wound care, from my back wounds, from my initial treatments, and um, they actually went away and then they came back. Uh, the, the, the skin was just so thin, I probably should have waited a couple weeks to start, but I was so anxious to keep fighting. Um, I, I, in hindsight, the way it is, I probably should have waited, but I, like I said, I just wanted to keep, I just wanted to keep fighting, I just want to keep going. Brenda from PA um, said hi to all of us. Um, and then goes to say, uh, Jerry, sorry, I didn't catch it. Are you going to discontinue the chemo to improve the quality of life? Question mark. Uh, if it depends what the scans say. I said if the scans don't show miraculous improvements, then I'm definitely not going to do another round of it because it's horrible on my body. I started to say that it lowered my thyroid. To, I was uh, 17.5 and that's when my sister was like you must be exhausted and I didn't realize that's what it was so between the chemotherapy which also can make you tired uh, she was like you know she was like you must be exhausted I was so tired I didn't know what was, I thought I was dying like that um, and it's not uh -huh. go take a nap but it's not build your stamina it's like plug in your recharger or something and or like your, your charger is broken you think you're charging and you're not um Sierra Rios says you're all in my prayers hopefully this round of chemo works and your quality of life improves so you can enjoy your loved one and your activities I couldn't even think about moving in this state because <laughs> like any type of road trip at this point would be extremely difficult getting in and out of the car. 
never mind sitting in one position for so long. I have, um, so mucositis doesn't just come on your mouth, it comes out of the other end too. So I have a really bad, um, it's beating, there's sores. Uh, we do treatments, but you know, the more, as you go to the bathroom, it's just not going to go away. Um, what we do is actually, what helps is when we put the A&D on it, it helps the next time I go to kind of coat the area. But now it's becoming like sitting on this pillow too long or sitting in this position too long or because I really can't move as much as I want to or as I probably need to. Um, she, suggest, 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 <laughs> she suggested doing like the stand-up sit-down things to build the leg strength and to like curl one pound weights to those things um, for my arms. Uh, so uh, that's what I, I've been trying to do, at least the stand up sit downs or, or try to move a little more. So today was the perfect example. I got up, I came out in the living room, got all stuff together. It took me a bit to get out here, but I came out straight. And then I realized a little while later, when I let the dog in, and I had to go to the bathroom. Now I had to hustle back, so I went like to go to get the dog and I had to hustle all the way to the bathroom. And then the actual, this is, I don't mean TMI, but it's just if I want to put these out there in case people are going through the similar things. Be prepared by that, what you might experience if you go through the similar things. We're in the life where it says hello. The Lord is in my prayers. Thank you. It takes so much energy to just go to the bathroom and wipe and wait and go more and wait and wipe and it's just so it's a process that I had to like I had to literally get off the toilet pull down my nightgown and then sit on the shower chair just to like recoup at a different height so my legs wouldn't get numby and um, my rear end wouldn't hurt my legs wouldn't hurt and it was just weird and then I made it out to the kitchen table I laid on the kitchen table for a few minutes because I just got to recoup I just couldn't keep moving um, it's hard to imagine I, like if I, I'm telling you how it feels, but it probably is really hard to imagine if you've never felt that way before. Because I know, I don't know that no, I would believe the okay, person. Okay. Hold on. Oh, she just said She fell asleep and then drug flight. What, Mom? Yeah. Echo 777 asked, will you move to Colorado be postponed until you feel better? Say it one more time. Will you move to Colorado be postponed until you feel better? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I'm probably going to stop treatment when we're ready. Um. Uh, what? Well, I kind of want you to feel better, but... No, I don't mean that. It's not, I'm not... We're not going to postpone the trip till I feel better. I'm going to stop treatment when we, when we know a timeline. Okay. That's what I meant. Unless this is a non-effective chemotherapy for me, because I'm getting right off. <laughs> That's what I was so excited about. Like, usually do scans in three months. And this was three months coming up. And I was like, oh, you know, three months, October, January... And she was like, oh, yeah, let me put a note in for the doctor. And she put a note in for the doctor. And he's like, he wants you to wait till the end of... January? <sighs> no, he wants to wait till the middle of February. One more month he wants me to do. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> because he's talking about, he's really talking about three months since I started the treatment. Not since my last scans. You know what I mean? Which makes okay. sense. Um does make sense it's just was disappointing to hear yeah so my routine now is basically get up I either have some really really soft oatmeal Jimmy makes me a batch and it sits in the refrigerator and gets softer and softer um, oh or I have like a yogurt or that protein shake I was talking to you about before um, sometimes I'll scrub me an egg but sometimes that's hard too it's weird um, it's just a lot of like different things happening. Yeah, but now he's, I don't know if you all is having trouble hearing, but this old girl said since you won't adjust the volume so people can hear live, can you turn on the closed caption so we can follow along? I'm and sorry, I did ask before. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah unfortunately, I, I just looked and you cannot turn it on once you start live. Did you, can you check the earbuds, microphones? Well, this one's still redlining. Let me see about the other one in the bedroom. I'm sorry, I, uh, I had asked Jimmy about finding like head headsets or whatever, and he said he has microphones. 
but he didn't check that they were charged, so I apologize ahead of time. I'm just going to jump on my tablet to see if I can add the closed captioning in the middle of the live stream. Um, I did mention before about if people could hear me or couldn't hear me. I'm sorry you weren't here. Um, Mom's girl did ask, do you have a Virginia nurse come over? No. No. Um, <laughs> I can still make it to my doctor's appointments. I just have to take off like a day of rest before, a day of rest after. Last time was hard because I had like two appointments and like getting in and out of the car is the part um, that's really difficult. I said to um, Jim and I said to my home health aide, um, can we just like drive around for a little bit? And they're like, oh no, we need to get home. And I was like, well, that's great, but I can't get out of the car yet. <laughs> so you guys are going to have to do that <laughs> by yourselves. <laughs> um, I don't know how charged it is, but we'll see. Oh, okay because it was still red barred. Okay. Um, trying to find today's video. I don't see it on my thing. Sorry if I wiggle the camera. Okay. Is that better? Can you guys hear me now? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. <laughs> oh, maybe if I went to the to the studio. Um, I just gonna try to fix this with the, with the closed captioning. Um, it's not very accurate the closed captioning, especially when you can't hear me. Oh, I can tell you that part's funny. Um, oh, good. 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 Okay. Good. Yay. Okay. Um, I knew I sounded close. like this earlier. That's why I suggested, like, if I could hook up the microphone. I didn't want to be, like, karaoke or anything, but it does hurt to talk. It also makes my mouth dry and salivate at the same time. So it dries from that wind blowing around it, the air, but then it makes me salivate because it's trying to coat that dry tongue, but they're, like, just lives of their own. Some nights I'll wake up like totally, total saliva in my cheeks like a chipmunk. And then my lips will be so dry. Like, it's just the weirdest thing. Like, how is this possible? I have a whole mouth regimen from the ENT. Oh, it's okay. I have a whole mouth regimen from the ENT of, of okay. coating and cleaning and protecting. Um, also, she gave me stuff for my nose because my nose button. That affects how I breathe at night with my mouth. You know, am I breathing? If it's uh, my nose is clogged, it wants me to breathe through my mouth, which makes it worse. And mom, what were you going to say? Um, I don't like work because Oreo cheese is good and I didn't. Oh, gotcha. I think part of it is, is Oreo is actually kind of like falling asleep. Yeah. And had a busy day. Yeah, she's had a busy day. No, it's it's from the it's from the cancer. It's been going on for a while. Actually, the first or before I, the day the day before I saw the ENT, I choked on pills, swallowing them because my throat my throat was like starting to get irritated, or it felt like it was uh, swelling basically. And then once I choked on them, it, it didn't really get better. It just started to get worse. So like, where there's an injury, it will continue to get injured sort of with the less with the cancer treatment. Um so I have uh I haven't had eye shots for about eight weeks. I have to okay. go see a new eye doctor here in town, which is great. I don't have to travel very far this time. Um I yeah, your appointment with that doctor? Oh, You that? told me it was the fifteenth, which is Monday. But I don't know, it's Martin Luther King Day. I don't know if they're gonna be open. Uh, I thought I would have heard from them today, yesterday, if it was the fifteenth. So, um, oh, no, she didn't say it. She's looking at the TV. Mom, um, the CAT just walked by the thing. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. She was yeah. looking at the TV. Or it it didn't. No, Mom, it's definitely not in the book because we didn't know what day it was. Oh. Yeah. 
after you made the appointment and he got off, I said, when is it? He goes, I think the 15th or the 16th. What time? Because I don't remember. He's like, that's not how you make an appointment. <laughs> My brain was, yeah. was not all that's that That's okay. There. I just thought it was funny. Yeah, that's what they've been doing the whole time. Been calling me the day before. So maybe it's Tuesday. Hopefully not the same time as when we are. What is um, Tuesday's the 26th, I believe, right? I mean, the 16th? Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> I just got there. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, I wanted to talk about this concept that I had for a video that I had already done half of. I was kind of thinking about making them into, like, a TikTok, TikTok or real type of situation. Because I really don't think I can finish them in a tutorial. Uh, what I mean by that is I made a painted, uh, I made a, a, it's a, it's a, it's a pizza pan. It was supposed to be a whole pizza pan video of all edges of pizza pans, but I actually started it before I got sick in 2021. So almost three years ago, March, I think is when I did it, but I never finished it. All I did was paint the pizza pan and I didn't do any other pizza pan videos. It's just the reason I'm like not hesitant now is that so many things are different at the Dollar Tree. What I thought I would do is post, edit the first half of how I paint the piece of plan, and then for the second half, like part two, come back and I'll I'll show you what the decorating parts are because I think that would be fun. Um, and I still keep looking around the internet. I don't see anybody coming up with that idea, but I don't watch everybody's videos. You know, just when there's something that's fun and easy, usually it comes across um, on your on your Facebook page. Uh, I have oh god. Yes, it currently yes. is 10 degrees, but because of the wind chill, it feels like minus 6. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, so. Actually, um, on. Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow is supposed to be a high of 4. Monday's high is 9. Tuesdays go back up to six, back to double digits. And, and then Wednesday is supposed to be sunny at 37 um, degrees. Used to, your father used to say it's going to be weather, whether or not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Yes. I, I don't have any decor up, and we're going to, I'm going to look to get new mirrors because um, the mirror that they had up when I moved in was like the idea of mirror pieces with the waves and the clips. I don't know, it was very, it was very old, you know, 09. Like it was always eight, you know what I mean? Like very time, it's, I don't know. It wasn't classic looking. And the mirrors that I had hanging over them are two different sizes. So it would look weird if I hung them back. So I've been looking, I've been researching like just two round mirrors would probably be perfect. One to go over the sink and one to go on the other side. Thelma Reed is on. Ethel? Thelma Reed. Who, I don't know who that is. Oh, well, oh. she's been on. It's been a while oh, since okay. I've even seen her. So, yeah, Ethel Reed is that's okay. Ethel Reed is the one from Washington. Yeah. Oh yeah. I still have it. <laughs> um, we we talked about it a little bit. I'm on a new kind of chemotherapy. That is kicking my butt, uh, really, really bad kicking my butt. Um, it's making me so tired. It actually gave me thyroid issues, which maybe I was going to have anyway, but like in six months, my thyroid went from like normal ranges to like really low. And um, that was unexpected. Um, it's not really low. It's not like Graves' disease low. It's just, it's low. It, I started taking um, that level of thyroxin. Uh, I guess it's hyper. I don't know. Is it high? Is it low? I don't know. Anyway, it's out of its range. <laughs> it's supposed to be like four and it's 17.5. How's that? Um, oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm trying to answer a question. Yeah. Um. So we're going to wait till the scans, which will be in about a month. And if it shows like this is the miraculous miracle we've been waiting for, then I might keep on it. Otherwise, I'm getting the heck out of Dodge because... The next stage from this is to increase it because I'm on the lowest dose twice a day. 
I, I can't uh, do it anymore. My um, nurse practitioner, I saw my oncologist nurse practitioner on my last visit, and she said it like I've been saying it the whole time. She's like, this kind of chemo, you just don't get a break. You know, when you get chemo treatments twice a week, you have those days between where you could feel a little bit better. But when you take a daily, twice a day dose, you just don't, you don't get a break. It's just constant. It's constant. Um, uh, I think that was it. Yeah. Uh, for now. Missouri, misery. Yeah. She's asking other, other participants. Oh, okay. To show me state. <laughs> we live in Missouri. Mom's from. Show me. Mom's from here. Jim's from his mom. What year? <laughs> Lily, I'm what from year? New York. Yeah, what year? Uh, Bill Marie said, hurt my heart to hear that that for you, Terry, I can't. Oh, thank uh, you so much. So you don't want to keep fighting? No, just not this chemo. Doc said we have other things to explore. This particular type of chemotherapy, it's called a, a, a Lita. Lita? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, a Lita. It's really having a, 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 it's really playing war with my body or savage or something. It's kicking my butt. It's kicking my butt big time. I just hope it's kicking the cancer's butt at the same time. Um, I'm having all of the noise of the throwing up, the bottom things, the top things, all the things. Um. <laughs> she out cold. Uh, yeah, but it, I, uh, Doc always says quality of life versus quantity of life. So am I going to live another two years and 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 eight months of it's going to be just laying in bed? It's not might not be really worth it. Um, the other thing is, before I started this round of chemo, um, the doctor actually said, he goes, you know, nothing's changed in the last six months if you don't even want to start. But I had already had it set in my head that I just want to keep going, keep fighting. I kind of regret it a little bit because I was useless on the holidays. <laughs> useless. No, Think, you did pretty good. Yeah. Well, I laid in bed and bought all the Christmas presents. <laughs> well, uh, you helped out with Christmas dinner and no, you helped out with you know, the decorating. But, you know, when you're used to doing it all and you get down to just like being an assistant, it's hard. I'd rather, you know, no, I would rather really if I'm... It, if I was as sick as you are, I would rather be more of an assistant than not at all. Yeah, no, I understand. So you did do your yeah. good participation. Jim's been running his hiney ragged all day and night trying to get Yeah, which the is house. causing me problems well, he's, medically. He's, he's doing really well. Otherwise, he's like, you know, he's trying to, he goes, I have on my list to clean the living room today, but other than picking up the dog's toys, I don't have anything to clean because it's not dust. I dusted to clean it. I was like, all right. That's good. That's what cleaning's supposed to be. You clean up as you go, and you don't even have to worry about having a cleaning day. Um, but he's been doing deep cleaning for the house sale. Um, he has. He's been awesome. Um, takes care of her um, in ways we can't. And you can see who she favors anyway, so, you know. Not all the time. Uh, only when I have food. True. But she's an, she's an egg nat. I can torment and torture her. Did you forget the ice cube? No, it's probably already melted. No, it's still hot, though. I've been sitting, wow. been sitting over here for a long time. Sorry, one of my favorite um, mouth throat healing things is uh, <coughs> Celestial Seasonings um, Tension Tamer with honey and a little squeeze of lemon juice. Little, little squeeze of lemon juice. Anything, one of, the, one of the biggest problems I'm having with food, like applesauce and fruit cups and those types of things, they all have citric acid in them to preserve them. But that citric acid just like, woo, might as well be sucking down vinegar. Um, What's the next thing to do is suck down vinegar <laughs> for your throat? You know, it's really funny. Sometimes I just want to like, I just wish I could chug orange juice. But first of all, that would put me in a, in a sugar coma. But also, uh, I just, I can't even orange. imagine feel you know like right now my eyes are tearing just thinking about it <laughs> um we have I mentioned before if you're just joining us now that um lisa moved if you haven't been here since then uh i have 
a craft that I want to share with you that I didn't finish. But I would like to finish it on. Yes, I have a poem coming up. A, like a TikTok style video. Um, and then we wanted to do some cooking. We talked about doing some cooking and meal prep. I started making mom these egg bites she really likes. And um, Jim, I found a new recipe and he dogged those. They're like McGriddle bites. Is that what you say? Yeah. It's crown sausage with your favorite pancake mix. It's mm -hmm. cheese normally. You need you to make more. What? You need to make more. And you put pancake syrup in it so it tastes like, you know, when you get a McGriddle pancake, it tastes like it's already syruped. Um, and an egg. And then you uh, whisk it all up and... Actually, there's no egg in that. I take that back. There's no egg in it. I don't know. I have the recipe. Right there. And he really liked them. So I always try to like, sometimes I try a recipe new with you, but most of the time I like to try it, see yeah. if it's good before I can even like share it again. Um, so that might be something we might do. I have. Okay. I, um, oh. I have an appointment coming up on the 24th, which is in Springfield. And it's for a neurosurgeon because they did the MRI um, about a week ago. And they found out uh, that in my shoulder, my yeah, my shoulder and neck area, there's a couple um, vertebrae that, maybe you can help me describe it better, because it's like it, the, where the nerve comes out of the spinal cord is getting pinched. So it sounded like the discs were shrinking a little bit and pushing on the nerve on the spinal cord. Um, no, no the damage, nerve that comes no, out. Yeah, no damage it. to the cord. No, no, no but it's just pinching like pinching on it. Yeah, pinch, well, the nerve. The nerve that's coming. what I meant to say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was a word for it. We had to look it up. <laughs> what? Pyramidal. Pyramidal, is that what it was? Yeah. She's so good. Um, so. I hope that he doesn't need a ride home. Um, I... But if it does, we'll work it out. I mean, we have friends who drive, so. <sighs> yeah. But of course, that'll depend on the weather, too. Um, let's see. How else are we doing? Um, oh, yeah. It is. There are times that hurt so bad, I just want to punch something. Uh, and of course, you're a righty. I don't know. This one knuckle. I'm, so... I'm 99.9% .9 sure Jim's shoulder is broken because of the meat slicer. Yeah. You know? No, I meant whatever's That's... wrong with it. Sorry. Yeah. All the. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Sandy. Becca says, so Jim, Jay need spinal surgery. I think she means it may. may yeah. Don't know. That's probably one of the reasons why I'm going to a spinal surgeon in Springfield so they can determine what needs to be done. All I have to say is that if they had to have to do any surgery, they better not mess up because if they mess up, one, <laughs> oh, there's going to be hell to pay, and two, um, I can't to be out no. <laughs> no yeah so i'll be like okay but if you do any damage you're gonna have a somebody come and cook me over <laughs> well i probably will take care of me and my mom and my wife um ah yes christmas present the three the three nails one yeah the three nail cross Sorry, everybody. I'm having like a really weird aura around my eye. Like the, you know when you lean okay. on your okay, you know when you lean on your eye, like you fall asleep like this when you open it, it's got like those rainbowy, splashy colors. It's happening all the time. I can't get it to go away. Mm. Oh, great! More stuff to add to the list. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um. Maybe that's what we should do one day. Sit down and write a list of our, our ailments and complaints. <laughs> no, because hopefully stuff like this <laughs> put is it just on the a... my put it on the my portal for the doctors to look at. 
I'm hoping yeah. this is just temporary, like I did too much to <coughs> Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I always send her emails telling her what's going on. She either says we'll talk about the next appointment or, yeah. you know, is it something. I'm Sometimes actually, I'll just tell her, like, look, this is like, I'll tell her tomorrow. Uh, well, I'll tell the portal tomorrow. If it doesn't go away, I will tell her it's still there. Or otherwise, I'll just tell her last night this freak thing happened with my eye. And she'll ask me to describe it better and ask me when the next time I go to the eye surgeon is and that kind of stuff. Um, Oh, I, I can't really, I can't really afford that. And it's a combination of affordability and you have trouble with certain kinds. Of well, so, and to be food. honest with you, I, I can't really eat anything like certain textures. I can't eat like I. It was funny because when I used to work in the group, group home, I used to say, "We know frozen vegetables are better than fresh vegetables, whether you believe me or not." They're frozen fr fresher to the farm than any farm food gets to your house. No. Obviously, if you go to a farm stand, if you live across from the farmer, obviously that's a little different. But otherwise, you know. So when we were, when I was younger, <laughs> I used to love like crisp steamed vegetables. So all we would do is leave the bag out on the counter, run it under hot water, put it in a bowl, and microwave it just to make hot, blanched vegetables. It was really good. I have to put, now I have to microwave it for its longest time and then leave it in there for two minutes in the bag just so it can get so soft. Um, but no, it's, it, the thing is really difficult is it's, I don't have, I don't have energy to cook for myself and, um, the kind of things like to make homemade soup, you know, it's not a lot altogether because the soup cooks and stuff, but it's a lot at certain, like, you know, it's a lot to sit down and. And you got to pick off all the chicken and then you got to chop up all the vegetables. It just is a lot. And uh, asking Jim to do that on top of everything else he's doing is very difficult. But because and of my mucositis, it's really, really affecting um, what I can eat. I mentioned it earlier that the nurse just said, uh, the nurse practitioner said, just to try having a shake in the morning and a shake at night because I'm in a calorie deficit that she's worried about. So we did. We started that. Today I was actually able to eat some. Um, we had hot dogs. Jim boiled the hell out of the hot dogs. Now I will tell you, my nutritionist oncologist says stay away from processed meat. I can't stop eating cold cuts and hot dogs. I've tried. I promise. Thing is, is that that stuff is so soft, probably because of all the chemicals. But that meat is so soft that it's so much easier to eat that than any like baked chicken, fried chicken, broiled chicken, none of that. So, um, so yeah. Salty, spicy, acidic, vinegary, um, citrusy, all of those things are out. Um, yeah, anything spicier than like garlic powder. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But really, that's, I tried soy sauce one day. That, that didn't work. Um, yeah. Just, just a, lot of, a lot of textures I can't eat. Can't eat crunchy. I have to peel my bratwurst, you know, and then try to eat the soft part out of the middle of the bratwurst. It's just a lot of, a lot of things. He does it. Yeah. Oh, they're awful. Um, um, I did think about and this was a thought that I had. I know I, I'm not a very good uh, um, plant person. I don't have a green thumb. Um, but I, I was thinking. You could kill artificial flowers. Yeah. 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 I was thinking about trying to do like basic indoor, indoor gardening for like herbs. herbs. Basil we had a hydroponic garden for herbs. Mint, mint and, huh? We had a hydroponic garden for herbs. I think we gave it to Julie. Yeah. I think Julie got it. Um, because I mean, now the weather in Colorado is probably a little bit snowier than it is here, and, and it, the temperatures are about level out. They're almost the same as here. Uh, it's maybe a little, it, it's a little warmer in the winter. Yeah, it is a little warmer in the winter. Um, that's why I was thinking about like an like an indoor 
Where are we found in Colorado? Excuse me one second. Where yeah. The place we found in Colorado. Southern Colorado. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about maybe trying to do like some basic gardening. But the thing is, is now with Jerry Ann's mouth and whatnot, she can't have like tomatoes. We got to miss tomatoes. So I was thinking like the herbs and, and like basic plants. No. So I said to Jim, I'm like, I miss food. I miss food like... It was such a a comfort to me um, growing up, just and and so I'm so sentimental about certain things. Um, and that's one of them. Um, but I just I'm so limited to what I can eat. Like I, I I can't even do like chicken noodle soup because there might be a hard piece of chicken or there might be a little bone left over. I'm doing broccoli cheese soup. And I have a recipe to make my own broccoli cheese soup, which I'm pretty excited about. So I was going to share on YouTube. Because it's an altered Panera bread soup. But it's altered. Like, it's, you know, I change it up a little bit. Um, but it's sort of like that, you know. Like, I want to I wanna be able to, like, just go back to eat what I want to. Now, here's the thing. When I had mucositis, when they first had the first cancer treatment, and the outside of my mouth was really bad, too. I was on immunotherapy and chemotherapy. So that combination made this mucositis that I have not go away. It got better. It wasn't as, it was, my mouth wasn't as swollen and it wasn't as irritated and it wasn't as irritable oh. as it was, uh, as, as it was when I was off treatment. But even that, I was still, it still hurt me every once in a while. I have to watch what I eat. I can't have Ketchup, if I do have ketchup today, I have to make sure it's, it's not so anything hard. It's got to be like a really soft burger, like all these like weights and measures things I had to do. But it's like almost as soon as I started this chemo again, it came back with a vengeance. Um, I don't know if you remember from the first time I was on treatment, I had to switch off of hot coffee to cold coffee or to really cold brew is definitely the way to go. Um, because the acidic, when you, when you brew coffee, it's acidic. So that also sometimes started to really hurt me. Then I started using half and half, and the cream cuts down on the acid, um, which is funny because I saw somebody make a recipe. They took their regular tomato sauce, and they added Alfredo sauce to it, and I was like, I might be able to have that. It depends, you know, if I make a low acid sauce and then uh, add Alfredo to it, that would be good, or cream to it even. Um, but I don't know. I, I hate to make a whole something that I'm the only one that's going to eat, and I can't eat it anymore. But I've done that a few times. Oh, <laughs> uh, Marianne. Hi, sweetie. Mary Ann, Justine, and Jackie. Yes, hi. Justine, Dominique. Aww. But you said Justine. Good job. I hope so, too. <clears throat> Again, that's just another step for Jim. Uh, we have pureed. Uh, we, my, one of my mom's famous, not famous, famous in my house, uh, things that she cooked because my father was the real cook. I don't think my mother ever had the opportunity to learn much. <laughs> was ground beef with gravy over egg noodles. Um, so I made that one, or I did make that one day. And yeah, with chunks of meat, like stew meat. And uh, I, he, I had him put that in the blender. Um, and that became like... Um, the texture then became really dry. It almost was like Need more gravy grits or something. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Do we get grits? I want to grits with cheese, the instant grits. We have grits, yeah. Grits, grits with cheese and eggs, I think I can really do. I just add extra cream to it. Just trying to come up with different things, too, because for a while yeah. I was like, can I have a scrambled egg? Can I have a scrambled egg? Can I have a scrambled egg? Every day. I'm like, yeah, can't you have a I can't do that. <laughs> Hi, Kathy Disney. Oh, absolutely, Kathy. Hope you have good weather where you are, that you don't have any delays because of weather. Uh, well, I, I'd say that was true, but not true, because when we were growing up, we didn't have... We couldn't afford like fresh vegetables and real vegetables. Everything came out of a can. So on holidays, one of the things that goes the fastest is all the vegetables, like their frozen vegetables, and they go like, 
my father started having to make like extra batches of cauliflower, extra batches of, of Brussels sprouts because we were running out. The turnips he makes, everything he makes is like fresh from scratch. And those are the things that go because we didn't get those things. It's really what you miss. We had plenty of penny candy from the little store down the block. So that's not to me a comfort food really. To me, a comfort food is like the the vegetables we get at the holidays because that's what we craved. We almost never had fresh fruit. We grew tomatoes, so uh, both oh, like all summer we had what? Huh? We grew tomatoes and basil. Oh, we oh we like like my father was always saying, "I'm growing pasta sauce." Um, <laughs> tomatoes. He grew tomatoes. He grew basil, and then at times he tried cucumbers once. He tried peppers once. And just like didn't yield the work, you know, hip to him. He's always dollars and cents or was always dollars and cents. So, um, and what can he do with it? You know, so those kinds of things, I, I actually appreciate those kinds of things. Um, I actually don't eat anything that I, well, I shouldn't say I don't eat anything I want. I do like ice cream, but nowadays I like plain ice cream because if it's got things in it that can hurt. So I'm a, I've become like a vanilla girl or a chocolate girl or coffee. Um, you can't have chips or chunks or things, and that's like, eh, you know. I actually take vanilla ice cream, and I usually mix it in like a tablespoon of peanut butter, and I eat like that just to help. But I really like them now because it makes my mouth feel the best. Ice cream makes my mouth feel the best. Coats it with the fat and the cream, and it's just, I'm sorry, Mom. Um, so go ahead, I'm sorry. Most girls say mashed butternut squash is very healthy. Yes. Uh, I've I've actually never had it not roasted. And roasted has those dark edges. But I wonder, uh, I could microwave it. My sister gave it to me out of the microwave one time. Same thing with sweet potato mash. I did that. But here, sometimes, like, the te- just like sometimes the texture. We made... Um, a beautiful like sweet potato whip from the canned yams and the canned yams in water, not in the syrup. And Jim just had put like a little bit too much syrup, cinnamon in it, but it was, they were still so good. Um, and I just like dogged them. Like, hey, give me some rotisserie chicken and some of the sweet potato mix when I'm done. What was that? Um, I think it was a squash that you like. Shred it up, made it into like shoestrings. Oh, you mean a uh, spaghetti squash? Yeah. Yeah, I love spaghetti squash. And, and noodles, zucchini. I'm sorry, mom. Uh, zucchini noodles I love also. Uh, Jay Shaw said she has a Thank you. And Tammy says this is great. Is that a cord in your skirt or your rack squash? It's actually not a cord. It's cordless. I got them for Jim for le- last Christmas. Um, for like recording in his room. Um, but since I I can't really talk loud, um, I have in, to use it in my shirt now. <laughs> See, the halo has gone away. Uh, not halo. The I have rainbows. <laughs> um. So hopefully I got caught up on everything. I miss you guys. I would like to see you um, back more crafting and maybe maybe we'll try to record um, our move and more of that process. I will tell you that I do have tons of videos recorded on my phone that I just don't have the mindset to upload because it does take a lot of, it does take a lot of work to upload a video. that's why live streams are so much easier because all you have to do is sit there and talk and catch up with everybody. Um, so I think, I don't know what time it is, but uh, I'm sorry? 7.52. Oh, just about an hour. Good. Okay. Um, if anybody has any last minute questions, I'd love to hear from you. Um, oh, okay. Well, Sandy, that's what I was trying to say um, uh, in the message that I do live stream every Sunday morning or Sunday ish brunch by brunch. Um, we do a coffee chat, um, like this, the three of us, but mostly it's more of everybody talking, you know, um, telling stories and just catching up to see how everybody's doing. 
I do miss talking every day. Uh, right now, I can't even imagine. Some days I feel so ill that I stay in bed and it's like, oh, Jim's coming to bed now. Like, how's that possible? I just fell asleep. So, um, but some days it feels like, you know, it's a full day. So hopefully, hopefully we'll know something in the next four weeks. Oh, well, it, it depends on how I feel. I, you know, a lot of people accuse me of being fake as shit, but if I don't feel good, I can't be, you know, just, I still have positivity in my heart. I still feel all the love, but it literally hurts my face to smile, um, which is, it's kind of sad. Like right now, it's, I feel pain and in the insides of my cheeks are swollen and uh, the outsides of my, uh, like the ones that are, okay, the ones that are from my teeth to my face <laughs> and then my tongue on the inside is very swollen. So smiling can get me like a jab me both ways. But, um, yeah, I just, I feel, I feel very tired and I feel very sick and I don't like it anymore. Um, but I try to still keep very positive about it. Um, or I try to, I don't know if I always am. Tomorrow afternoon, probably around 12. Basically after I after wake mine. up and, and get everybody <laughs> fed. Are you I'll doing probably after do mine? <clears throat> huh? Do it after hours? Well, I don't know what we were going to do one tomorrow. But yeah, yeah, the regular vlog channel. Yeah. yeah. Off yeah. chat. Pretty much. Um, so if anybody doesn't have anything else, I really do appreciate you coming by tonight. Um, if you're watching this after the fact, if you're watching this after the fact, just leave whatever questions you have. We'll try to answer them in the comments. Anybody want a zombified dog? She is. Leave like... her alone. You're such a you're such a big brother bat. See, yep. now you woke her up. No, she only woke up because you touched her. She's doing fine because I was playing with her legs the whole time and she's just laying there. It's too funny. Um, Listen, I love you. And if nobody's told you today that you're loved, you can always come by and hear how much I love you. And if you do like this chatty thing, every Sunday morning we go live on the vlog channel. Almost every. I was sick one week and I couldn't make it. Oh, no. We had bad Wi-Fi that day. Yeah. Wi-Fi was out. Um, but still, you know, come on by uh, sometime Sunday morning. There's a link to that channel in the description box down below. Okay? Um, so, again, if nobody said, told you they love you, come by and hear how much I love you. So, I love you guys very much. And as always, <laughs> bye. you take care. God bless. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. I think you have to take the dog off your lap and get that. You want me to do it? I got it. I got it. Sure? Yep. She's going to go lay down anyway. Bye. I can find the X. Oh, there yep. it is.